Here now, David Harsani, a senior editor at The Federalist. David, let me start with this. The Washington Post, I think it was yesterday, published how the humble gas stove became the latest flashpoint in the culture wars. Regulators have no plans to ban gas stoves, but Republicans are slamming the Consumer Product Safety Commission for announcing that it will examine the health impacts of the appliances. David, starting several years ago in California, town after town banned gas going into buildings, new buildings, and new homes. That is a ban on gas stoves, period. And New York is doing the exact same thing. And so it's not a number, it's the first state in the country to ban natural gas heating and appliances in new buildings. That is banning gas stoves. So I, I, it makes me insane that they're now trying to act like it's a culture war when the only culture war is a war by the left on the culture of Chinese Americans who use woks to cook. Yeah, I mean, you know, they do this constantly. It's it's gaslighting uh, of, 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 of conservatives where they bring up the idea. If anyone started a culture war on gas stoves, it's the left. There are over 100 cities and counties that have already banned new gas stoves. Right. They brought it up the other day. There was a letter sent by a bunch of big senators, Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders, others, saying, you know, basically that, that gas stoves kill people. You had AOC out there talking about how, you know, basically – pretending that this has been a cause forever. Like, how could you possibly want a gas stove in your house? You know, you're going to kill your children. And then when they pull back, because it was a trial balloon, clearly, they act like you're nuts for bringing it up. When I actually think that as an issue, it's more important to Americans than most of the stuff political journalists talk about most of the time, like a House speaker race. I mean, you have a gas stove in your house. It's something you like. It's something you buy. It's something you use. Um, and it also tells us something about progressives who are clearly OK you know, they have no limiting governing principles. They're clearly okay with coming to your house and taking your appliances. I think those things matter. They want to ban, and you write about this in your column, that they, they act as if that lower income Americans who use gas don't understand ventilation and having vents or opening windows when they cook and use their stoves, and they need the government to help them understand, or not, not help them understand it, but to take their gas stove away, or to take the gas out of the building in which they live. But beyond that, so this Washington Post, and it, it's really, th this Washington Post article is deeply dishonest, but there were all these other articles that just magically appeared, and they all have the same language in them. This, the, what did you say? Nomenclatura? Is that how you pronounce it? The um, yeah. vice, uh, the, the gas stove culture wars, the debate over gas stoves is going the way of guns, cars, and masks. The latest culture war, this was in Rolling Stone as well. There is no originality. And it's as if they just, one person wrote all of this. Maybe Media Matters did. Well, you know, uh, many years ago, I wrote a book called Nanny State, where I, I talk about these kinds of incremental invasions into your private life and into the way you, you live your life by the government, by the state. And most of the things I wrote about are a joke now. I mean, they're, we're way past that. I mean, they, they do this constantly with all kinds of um, things. And, I, and as you said, I think the underlying effort here is actually a green energy thing, right? They don't want you to be able to have gas in your home. They think gas is bad. They want every, you know, they want everyone on the same grid, powered by sunshine and wind and all of that. Right. It's a way to control you, the way they control thermostats in certain cities. You know, I think it was in Denver where they actually shut down thermostats because they were being overused. So I think that's the end goal, and it's being normalized, and, and they gaslight you in this way when you fight back. I, I'm uh, upset about it. My brother and I have been talking about this for years because we en he enjoys cooking. David, great to see you. David Harsani, I can't wait to talk to you again very soon.